This was actually the town of Cave Creek in the early 1900s. This was a mining area. A small community lived here. There's many dwellings, a lot of relics out here, a lot of interesting things. This road here you see on the mountain we're going to be exploring, that's an old mining trail. We're going to hit that trail and we're going to hike right up to the oasis. They look like stacks of guitar picks. Fender thin, anyone? Oak on the water! Okay, look at this. This was all horizontal at one time. Can you imagine the force that took to just shift all this up vertically? Flip it over. My CD collection. It's hard to imagine this was horizontal at one time. I mean, look what kind of force it would have taken to just, I mean, maybe when that <coughs> volcano erupted there. It's just, it's, it's everywhere, you know? I found some turquoise out here. A unique little piece of desert though for being right here, you know? Beautiful sunsets out here. Look at, nice piece of quartz. Look at these quartz pieces. They might have been mining a little gold here. You never know. Look at some there's a lot going on here. A lot of different minerals. Just to go back in time and see what the heck was going on in this place millions of years ago would be fascinating. combination of rocks out here, it's like, why is this rock amongst this type of rock? This one's got all kinds of minerals in it. This is heavy, too. Look at all the sparkles in that thing. What on earth is this? That's a beauty, though. That's a, that's a nice rock right there. See it sparkling, Doug? Sort of. It's hard to tell on the camera. I, I definitely see it off camera, though. That's wild, isn't it? Oh, look at, oh, look at this. That's so, a lot of glitters there. Very interesting stuff. I feel nuclealized. <laughs> <laughs>wild little hill for being in the middle of town, you know, you don't see. How far out do we drive to find things that look like that? Hours before we on. And this is just right here in the city and people drive by it and don't even realize it. It's a beautiful little peak, man. Pretty decent stonework. You can tell this was the original structure and they busted out the wall. You can see where they patched it with concrete and then there's their new concrete and not such creative stonework where they added on. I don't know how old this thing is. This thing dates back to the late, this is like 1903, the best I can. They didn't build, ro build roads like this a hundred years ago for no reason. That's a lot of work. There's something major going on up here. Let's see if we can figure it out. Pretty hairy little rock. Trail goes all the way around it. See what I mean about the grass up there and everything? Yep. There's a lot of water up there for some reason. I think we should figure out why. That just uh, it doesn't look like anyone's checked that out in a long time. I think we're in the middle of nowhere. Here we are, Cave, Cave Creek Road and Cactus. What do you think? Should we just 
a crack at full frontal? Uh, no, I think we ought to. I think we ought to flank it. This. Let's see, We've got the McDowell's on there now. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of four peaks. Exactly. Yeah. Then the super. There's Red range. Mountain. Red it's Mountain. out by the Salt River. That's where everybody goes tubing. Then we have the. Uh, right, there's Red Mountain. Mountains. That was, that was a Red Mountain. It's a little. A little hazy this morning, but... And there's the superstitions. Uh -huh. And that's Mummy Mountain. And then, of course, this is called Stony Mountain here. I'm concerned that it's warm today because the snakes might be coming out. That's the type of place that rattlers love to stay nice and cool in the summer. It's been kind of cold this winter, and this is a beautiful 72 degree day. And, uh... We're definitely going to watch where we step. I got the machete. We've got a busting brush. I think that's a good thing. 45. Yeah, I don't think anyone's checked this out in a long time, and uh, I say we're the guys for the job. Let's do it. Okay. Look at this plush Bermuda. I mean, there's a lot of grass. Yeah, which is really weird for the desert. Definitely watch your step. Really? There's water up here. Amazing. It's like striking water out of the rock in the desert in the Bible. Dude, you're on Arizona horizon. Okay. Let me get a shot of this. I'll try climbing with camera in hand. So. Yeah, maybe if you get the lens in the shade, you'll get a better shot. Here we go, there we go. Still. I'd be like. Well, I would have maybe got the first of it back there a little bit, then we'd kind of come in for the details. But there's a nice vein of quartz here. You can see it goes through here, but I was noticing this interesting blue material. It seemed like it's translucent. And I think it may be cobalt. It looks like glass. It's not turquoise and it's not slate. And this huge igneous boulder couldn't be slate. Um, pretty interesting. I think this was some kind of a mine here. As you can see, a lot of growth up in there and there's some interesting plants. Uh, you can smell water. We're going to go up there a little higher and see what's exactly up there. Pretty steep but we're going to give it a run. Yeah, be careful. I would just take a shot. Yeah, I'm not going to climb with the camera running. Two hands to handle this whopper. It's be fun coming down. <laughs> We're gonna come down the other side. Well, I left my backpack over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think they were mining it, Doug. I think this has been blasted. Could be. Well, if this isn't snake bill, I don't know what is. I don't think anyone's been up here in a long time. How, how often do you get to a hawk's nest? Uh, and many people don't see that because it's just not an easy hike. Not accessible by trail. Uh, preferably fly in. Okay. And uh, I can relate to that because we got to get down from this monster. But, uh, yeah, those are some big eggs. You don't see that every day. It's the grass, and it's well, too hairy to even think of climbing I'll up there. I'll tell you what, the hawk has good taste in a homestead. And it's a room with a view. <laughs> it's certainly is. You don't see this in the middle of the desert. 
North Phoenix, unless there's water, especially when you're up on top of a boulder. There's some kind of spring here. Pretty interesting. I'll bet that bird knows how to get a drink. There's a big hole in the ground right here. Definitely Snakeville too. But not uh, with that bird living here. No, that's good. That's good vittles. Snake would be Snake. lunch. It's what's for dinner? <laughs> Tastes like chicken. Speaking of snakes for dinner, Doug, uh, this looks like some snake skeleton here. Could be, could be some, something else, but definitely hawk food. Yeah, bones and all, baby. They don't mess around. Well, maybe we better skedaddle before they find our bones up here. <laughs> yeah, it could be a pterodactyl. I heard they're known. And wouldn't want a talon on the head. No, I'd rather have a towel on my head than a talon on my head. <laughs> yep. And a towel on the head isn't that great either, so. <laughs> Interesting though. This is definitely where it hangs out when it's raining, I bet you though. Nice and dry in there, man. Definitely. Yep. And it doesn't poop in there because that's where he hangs out. Oh, he poops in there. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like there's bones around the nest, too. Oh, yeah. Looks like there's some, like, right there. Wow. We better go because those eggs are unprotected. Yeah. sure hate to. You know that bird's scared, just watching us. Scare it away from it. Yeah. He's watching us. All right, well, let's negotiate this little monster. That is a schneiker right there. Yeah. Well, God be praised for letting us come find this place. The top, time for a panorama. Another mine down there. The top, this is just a teeny little rock outcrop actually. This is like in no way a major mountain or anything. Look at that though. Let's see if we can find where that uh, a little gully that led down to that nest. Yeah, it's gonna be over here if we can get to it. This is pretty jagged. I've been to the top of most of these mountains around here. I don't see nothing like this every day. Ah, uh, this is it right here. Right down there is where the nest was is. Beautiful piece of desert. 